choose you. Uh, Will you go to prom with me? Oh my god, yes! Yay! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just getting asked to prom. Huh. Huh. So big. I know. But the question is, why is getting asked to prom such a big deal? Isn't prom just a big fancy dance where everyone can bust out their moves and do whatever they want, just have fun with their friends? I mean, I guess people don't really bust out their moves. It's really just one type of dance that everyone does, but I'm not really a big fan of it. I actually can dance so well, as you can see from these wacky Got the hand motions in. People spend so much of their time on prom. Why has all of this prom asking all of a sudden turned so grand? It has gone from, hey, do you want to go to prom with me? Will you go to prom with me? It'll be so nice and fun. Want to go to prom with me? To, please, will you go to prom with me? I'm down on my knees for you, baby. I'm all yours. Furthermore, people are just spending so much money on it, from the dress, to the makeup, to the hair, to the suit, to the limousine people take. I mean, they're just like throwing their money away, like, oh, throw my card in there, because you're going to need all of it. Okay, okay, for all you romantics out there, I can see how prom is going from, especially someone you've had dear to your heart, that you've always thought of as friends, can now become more than friends. But, does it really take all that money? And why are guys doing all the asking? I mean, girls can ask too, right? Some people think it's socially unacceptable if girls ask, but I don't think so. I think it's the same. I think you have a lot of courage if you do it. And it's nice. Okay, okay, I mean, I guess going back to tradition, guys do do the asking. And I mean, the origin of prom is from the word promenade which is, means just a formal dance. The first kinds of proms were in American universities. They were just co-ed banquets for the graduates in which guys and girls would have their lovely fancy dances. But that was back in the 19th century. With the growing teenage culture, proms started getting at a younger and younger age. Instead of being for college, people who were about to graduate, they were now for high schoolers, and they were a very, very vital role. People aspire to be the crowned King and Queen. Oh. And then in the 1950s, after World War II ended, the post-war economy was going really strong. So they decided to move prom instead of being in the gym to being at hotels, which is very nice. Uh, classy it up for these events. The best prom location I've heard of is in 1975. When President Ford had a wee baby, she grew up, she went to the high school prom. The prom was in 1975, and it was held at the White House. Oh my gosh, why wasn't I there? Can I take spaceship time travel back in time to go to the White House for prom? Oh, so amazing. It was not all fun and games. Personally, I think love is love. As the Beatles said, all you need is love. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum. But apparently not. Schools don't see it exactly that way. There have been problems with interracial couples and anti-gay bands or lesbians going together. In Mississippi, they canceled the entire prom because a young lady wanted to bring her girlfriend to prom. I feel like we've come a long way since then though. Now people are like, Going single isn't social suicide. We can go with my friends. I can go date a guy, date a girl, dance with whoever I want, and it'll be great. Photo booths, waking, making wacky faces. I know prom isn't that big of a deal, for me at least. It's just a dance, but it's still a really great time. And I'm so glad I got to spend it with you guys. Emily, happy birthday. Such a great person. And I've always wanted to make a video, but I've always been kind of afraid of what would happen. Slash, I didn't have the right camera for it. But you provided me the camera, and you provided me the motive. So, shout out to you. Happy birthday. Being 18, you can do a lot of things. Be careful with that responsibility. Guys, remember, it's not about the dress. It's not what you wear, what you look like. It's about who you go with, and how you spend your time. Have fun, everyone. I think the crowd and lonely night